Yeah, absolutely. The, so if we go back before the San and the Khoisan and go back to four million years ago, four million years ago, humans, or pri we were hominids in that state, and we were designed to eat roots and shoots. We were primates. And when you eat roots and shoots, what happens is you getting cellulose is the main source of your energy. But cellulose is, is insoluble and you can't digest it. The only thing that can digest cellulose is bacteria. And so if you go and look at chimpanzees and gorillas, because they are closest ancestors, they're not directly related to us, but they are our closest ancestors. We shared a common ancestor four million years ago. Those hominids have this huge abdomen, and it's not because they're fat. It's because they've got this big colon, which is full of bacteria, which breaks down and digests this cellulose and turns it into saturated fat. So although the gorilla and the chimpanzee look like they're eating a high carbohydrate diet, they're actually eating a high fat diet because that's what happens in their colon. So four million years ago, some very clever pre-human realized that the saturated fat that is being produced in the colon of these primates, that's been, they've done the job for us. And then when they looked at the antelopes, it's exactly the same. The antelope turned grass into fat, uh, just exactly the same way. And so why do we have to carry around this huge intestine when if we catch the antelopes, we'll get our saturated fat right there? So we started eating saturated fat. That allowed us to get this big brain. It changed our physiology and our mechanical structure completely. We got these thin hips and we could start running. And once we could start running, we could outrun animals and hunt them to their death in that way. So we became these expert runners in the heat. And that then, we became unbelievably successful hunters. And people don't understand this, that two million years ago, humans hunted the very, well, sorry, they weren't humans, but our pre-human ancestors, hunted the fattest animals on the planet. And what were the fattest animals? They were elephants and hippopotamus and rhinoceros. So how did we kill them? I don't think we still know, but that's what we killed. We were so successful that to about 400,000 years ago, we had all these big animals on all the continents. But as soon as humans moved onto these continents, we killed off the so-called megaflora, these big animals. And so the, the, the only megaflora that exist anymore are in Africa. They were wiped out on every other continent by early humans. Then the problem became was we didn't have enough fat in the diet, so we had to go and do something else, and that's when agriculture came along 18,000 years ago. So, so the history of humans is that we changed from the physiology of the primate, we were eating roots and shoots, to animals that were eating meat, and that allowed us to become human and support this massive brain. But as I've indicated, we eventually ran out of megafauna, and then we had to develop the, the grain industry and start to grow grains and then that caused other problems that developed civilization but it caused other sorts of problems of disease because we we're all living together so we had lots of disease and ultimately we're in the state we are in today that we're eating foods for which we were completely unprepared our body is not designed to eat the ultra processed foods that we're eating today and if people want to be healthy they have to go back to the way we ate millions of years ago, which, as you indicate, was eating infrequently and eating real foods, not ultra-processed rubbish, so-called food-like substances. The foods that we are eating today are not food. They shouldn't be considered as food. The real food is the food that we designed to eat is what we were eating two to three million years ago.